Yes, uh, good morning. Now, um, how are you folks doing? I did a video this morning about um, the binary system, the binary sun you actually see in the morning. Um, it's something you can actually see early in the morning anywhere. If you get up early enough, like around 4 to like 6, you'll see it. It's in the direction of the uh, sunrise. Guys, it's not Venus. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. It's not the North Star. I know what it is. I've been tracking it for over close to 13, 14 years. I know the pattern. I know where to look during winter time because in winter time it's in the evening, in uh, sunset. In summer, it's in the sunrise position, which is now early in the morning. It's the reason for everything. It's because what's happening, it's a secondary gra gravitation pull that's actually affecting our solar system. It's a cyclical cycle that happened every 3,600 years. I'm, I, I, guys who have been watching my YouTube video know I've been talking about this since 2010. And I've been called crazy, cuckoo, you name it, all derogative words. Because all I'm trying to do is to prepare humanity for what lies ahead, what their future is. It's a reset of our solar system. However you want to take it, take it. Uh, if I want to take it biblical, in a biblical way, yes, it's heaven. Because the person that created humans, that's their home. They live there. So if you want to call it heaven, go right ahead. I call it, some people call it Niburu, Nemesis, Destroyer, uh, Black, r White, uh, Red or Blue, Kachina, whatever, according to the Hopi tribes, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing. If you want to get spiritual heaven, same thing. God home, same thing. It's happening. It's a physical cycle every 3,600 years, and a process comes with it. And we're going through the process right now. So what's going to happen as it get closer? Everything that we're seeing that we think is bad, it's just going to escalate. It's going to be a hundred times worse. Now, as I speaking of escalation, the new Madrid fault line is escalating right now with activity. There was a big 4.1 magnitude in Tennessee. Some people said it's, you know, what? I don't want to get into it because I know the readings are being, are not <laughs> perfect right now because they really don't want people to know this. But um, anyway, New Mexico, guys, I mean, guys, south of the new madrid fault line this is why everything is happening from all the way to new mexico texas all the way up through new madrid through tennessee all the way up to um um ohio going all that uh, over on the east coast all the way up to um uh it's gonna all go all the way up to new york massachusetts maine ottawa montreal all that area is going to be affected folks whether you want to accept the truth or not, I'm just giving it, putting it out there. This is what our future is going to be like. This seismic activity that's happening in Tennessee is just the beginning. What's happening in New Mexico with this seismic activity is just the beginning. Okay? There's no man on this planet that can stop what's coming because what's happening now is something that meant to happen. It's also in the Bible. As I said, if you want to go biblical with it, I'll go biblical with it because the Bible is just a historical book. I don't see it as a religious book. These are historical events that were written down and over the time men tampered with it by rewriting these events. Yes, it's true. If you do research, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because the Bible was actually rewritten in third it was given, was commissioned to be rewritten in 313 AD by Emperor Constantine. He gave the authority to King James. So it was the Latin Vulgate that got converted to the King James Bible. So trust me, I know the Bible and I study history. Anyway, ancient history, by the way, not the typical history. Uh, the East Coast is popping off. San Andreas right now is popping off. Northern California, as I said, these are the events that were going to happen. These seismic activity. I've been preaching this. Uh, I've been stressing it. I sound like a broken record because I'm trying to wake people up. So... So there's a swarm of earthquake happening in Northern California, close to the Cascade subduction zone. It's going to trigger more earthquake in Alaska, also on the San Andreas Fault Line, Nevada, places like Washington State, Oregon, uh, Vancouver Island, Canada, Canada, will going to get hit. Vancouver quakes are coming. I want you folks to get ready for this. All right. Once again, the New Madrid Fault Line is seeing a huge amount of seismic activity along the human New Madrid Fault Line south of the human jet fall line north of the new major fall line it's not going to stop this is what's happening right now guys 
if you guys really know what's happening in New Mexico, if you really see the amount of seismic activity that they're getting and people will be like, oh, it's fracking, fracking. No, it's not. No, it's not. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's, 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 it's uh, engineered by the government. Inge Stop it. Stop that. Stop it. No, it's not. This is not engineered by no government. The government have no control over this. This is because of a planetary uh, planetary body, which is 10 times the size of Earth. I'm giving you history here and facts. Took hold of our planet and have a secondary gravitational pull on our planet. This is bigger than humans. Humans is not the cause of it. It's bigger. It's the ones who created us. This is why it's happening. Because they're coming back. So please, I don't want to see, oh, harp. It's harp. It's CERN. It's the government. People say that to smooth away and smooth away to, to basically stay in their little zone, their comfort zone, what they consider reality. And they don't want to destroy that, the illusion of their reality. So they say these things to keep the illusion going. So stop it. If you're watching my video and you're reading these comments under my video where people are right, don't buy into it. There's a reason why you're here watching my video. Listen to me carefully. Every 3,600 years, we have a physical cycle that occur where a binary star in, interact with our solar system. Around that binary star is seven planets, four moons. The planet at the extreme end will enter our solar system. And there's beings on the planet that will come to Earth. And those beings are the reason why we're here. They created us. They did because they needed gold. You want to call them Anunnaki's? They're actually in the Bible called Anak, children of Anak. Yeah, it's in the Old Testament. These beings are in the Old Testament. Where do you think the word angels came from? It started out with Anunnaki, then went to Anak, then went to angels. Same people, messengers, same people. I'm just trying to make things easy and wake people up. That is that is my only purpose. It has nothing to do with fair, folks. I want you guys to be aware so you prepare. You can live through what's what's coming. Huge quakes, guys. Indonesia is going to pop off. Japan is going to pop off. Taiwan is going to pop off. Philippines. Uh, Papua New Guinea is going to pop off again. Um, Fiji, Solomon Island, south of Fiji. Going towards the, all the way down to uh, to um, east of Sydney, Australia. These places are just going to pop off with earthquakes. There's another place that's hard for me to pronounce. Uh, Venu Ven Vanu Vanuatu Vanuatu. I hope I pronounced that correctly. V a n u a t u. Vanuatu is a small island next to Fiji and Solomon Island. It's going to pop off with it. Quakes are coming for those regions, guys. And um, Myanmar, over there in Thailand, quakes are coming. I want you guys to get yourself ready, all right? Uh, Alaska, quakes are coming and you're going to get a volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruption is going to happen on off the coast of Oregon also. I want you guys to get yourself ready for that. Washington State at Mount St. Helen is going to erupt. These are what's coming in the near future. And I hope you guys are preparing yourself. And this is the main reason I do these videos. is to get you ready and make you guys aware. Once again, I have a special love for humanity. I want people to make it through this. So the restart of civilization will be easy on us. So I take it upon myself to inform people. And I hope I'm doing a good job. And so far what I'm saying, it's happening. Everything I've been saying, everything I've been calling is unfolding. So... There's a reason why I keep doing the video, because I know I'm not crazy, even though you call me crazy. I know I'm not. I'm enlightened. But in a way where not a lot of people can grasp. I don't know why God blessed me like this, but unfortunately he did. So I choose to share this knowledge with humanity and help them. So I guess that's the reason why he gave it to me. Love y'all. God bless. And you guys have a great Sunday. Enjoy your day. Ciao. Peace.